Here are five things to avoid at Miami University. Parking. Like many small college towns, Oxford is not a great place to find parking, especially during alumni or parents weekend when street parking is particularly scarce. There's a city parking garage in the town center, and some off-campus properties have their own parking area for the occupants, but most students should be advised to leave their cars at home or get the permits to park in the designated lots slash garages on campus. There are two garages on campus, but in all the time I spent as a student, I rarely used them. Meal plans. When I was a student, there was a traditional meal plan, which basically meant you could get three meals per day, whether you actually got them or not was on you. There was also a debit card version of that plan called Diplomat, which is what I had and I loved it. Get the Diplomat plan. The food is excellent on campus, and even if you do not live on campus, you will still want to eat at many of the dining halls. They do have an off-campus dining plan for restaurants located uptown called MU Bucks, but I would not recommend this. Certain classes and professors. Nowadays, you have review sites for everything, including for teachers such as RateMyProfessors.com, and if I was a professor, I would probably visit the site to get a good laugh. When I was a student, I found online a way to see what the grade distributions were for certain classes, which gave you information on how easy or tough of a grader the teacher was. Some classes, like English, may also be more subjective in evaluation, so that is when the instructor can make a significant difference. Long lectures. If you are like me, you will tend to avoid the long lectures. With some exceptions, my most common schedules were either Tuesday and Thursday for 75 minutes or Monday, Wednesday, Friday for 50 minutes. And while this is personal preference, it seemed more beneficial to meet that extra time in the week. Plus, at 8 a.m., it can be hard to stay awake for a 75-minute lecture. Bikes. Most people would recommend using a bike in a small-town college setting, so why would I say you should avoid this? I loved biking when I was a student, but it is not for everybody. Some towns, especially in the West Coast, where the weather is mild and warm most of the year, are designated for biking like UC Davis or Santa Barbara. Miami gets snowy in the winter, and I definitely would bike when it was icy outside, but this was probably not the safest thing to do in the world. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.